I'm doing my October favorites video for you all. So I'm just gonna go through and tell you things that I really liked during the month of October. Flowers, in festive colors, candle, in a festive scent. What more could a human being want? I'm just counting in the days till the day after Halloween when I personally think it's socially acceptable to start decorating for Christmas. Probably a month earlier than everybody else, but call me Buddy the Elf because hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. I love Christmas. Yo, yo, yo. The best way to spread Christmas cheer is singing loud for all to hear. Let's start off with makeup because I don't have any and it's falling everywhere. <laughs> Fudge! I've got three things, that's six, but three things that I'm wearing right on my face right now. Do you want to guess what they are? Let's guess. A little bit of snot. I think we're good. First and foremost, the eyeliner I'm wearing. I've been really liking wearing winged liner recently when I do wear makeup, and I'll be real with you, the month of October, there was not a lot of makeup being worn. Probably worn makeup 10 days out of the month. But when I have been wearing makeup, I've really been liking wearing winged eyeliner, and the one that I've been loving is the Glow Minerals Graphic Liner in Black. It's just a really good liquid liner. It creates a very dark, very precise line, easy to use. Liquid liner is my home skillet, and I really like this one. And this is a big favorite for me because I'll be honest with you I have been wearing the same blush Benefit Dallas for the last like three months straight until I found this little baby in my collection I decided to whip it out and I've fallen in love it's from Sigma and it's called the born to powder blush I really like it it's just like a dusty rosy kind of color but it's what I'm wearing on my cheeks right now and I just think it's really pretty and creates a really nice glow and I think it's a really good summer to fall transitional color now on to the lip combo I've been using my favorite that I've talked about before Milani color statement lip liner in number three nude Woo! and then on top of that the lipstick that I've kind of blended in with that like I use my fingers and I get like down and dirty with it all probably can tell because my fingers are kind of pinkish I've been using the YSL lipstick in rouge Velop number two and I'll be real with you I was pretty sorely disappointed by these lipsticks until I started mixing them with like a matte lip liner and then blending them out because they're so overly creamy that I just feel like I look like I made out with with a frozen yogurt, which in theory would be great, but in reality, I'm allergic to dairy, so <laughs> not fun. Hmm. On to skincare. My skin's been breaking out like crazy, so I have been really loving my Yes to Tomatoes Clear Skin Face Mask. This is just a basic face mask that I really feel like helps clear out my pores, disclog any areas, and I like it. And then I've also been using my anti-redness serum from First Aid Beauty, and my skin's just been really red lately. It's actually been great because it's a serum that really like adds hydration to your skin, but I also feel like it calms my skin down, and it's like simmer the f down skin. Something that I recently discovered at the end of October is this curling iron that I totally forgot that I owned. This is the Babyliss Pro See, dude, I know nothing about this curling iron. I don't even know how big this is. I've been really liking this curling iron. I usually use a wand that's much smaller. Let's make so many sexual jokes. And I just decided one day that I was like, oh, I found this in my collection. Why don't I try using this? And I've been wrapping my hair around it and just kind of, it just gives a look of like a fake blowout. And it's very like Lauren Conradi hair. I like you. I don't know where you came from, but I like you. So sexual. Ladies and gentlemen, it is officially fall and we need a moment for fall candles. This is the first year that I burned through, I think, seven fall candles. I bought so many and I burned through literally almost all of them. I feel, I don't know what I feel like but it hurts to be without fall candles. With fall comes everybody's favorite candle, Leaves by Bath and Body Works. Currently burning one right there. Got one here, and I only have two more backups, so naturally, I'm stressing because I need more. I have two favorite fashion items, fashion I have two fav- <laughs> Stop! <laughs> I have two favorite fashion items of the month. The first are a pair of shoes, and okay, no, they're not like one's brown and one's black. I mean, yeah, that's what it's like right now, but I've been liking both pairs. I just brought one of each two, example. <sighs> Do you get what I mean? These shoes are from Just Fab, and I get so many compliments on them from people. They're like, oh my god, are those still JP? They're like, oh my god, are those Jeffrey Campbell? Where are those from? I'm always like, uh, Just Fab, y'all. They go with everything. Either this pair goes with something, or this pair goes with something. My last fashion favorite is something that's kind of dorky and very lame, and it's the flannel that you guys probably saw in my depression video. The day that I was leaving my parents' house, I was going through my mom's closet, 
and I found this shirt and I used to steal this from her all the time when I lived at home and so I left her one of my sweatshirts from Bernie Melville and I took this one with me home and I'll be honest the week that I got back to LA I I think I wore this every single day and I slept in it every single day it's kind of just like a security blanket kind of thing so I know my mom wants to steal it back granted I'm pretty sure this was my dad's that my mom stole from him I don't know my whole family dresses like a lumberjack <laughs> I have two favorite teas this month because tea has been great tea is always great during fall I just am stoked the first one is the sweet harvest pumpkin by celestial seasonings this is so good it's so cinnamony and pumpkiny it's just delicious it was one of those teas that I tried it again as soon as it was as it was October and I just took a sip and I was just transported to a different planet and the other one is the Tazo chai pumpkin spice tea which I also am absolutely loving it's the same thing I do when I usually make tea lattes I'll just use this with some unsweetened almond milk and it's so incredibly good and I'll add some stevia and it's just like delicious on to more random favorites favorite TV shows of the month TV has been awesome to me lately maybe just because I've been binge watching a lot of shows but the month of October I straight up watched the entire series or caught up on the entire series of blacklist so I watched that on Netflix and I really really like it I don't know I really like James Spader and it's just very good and I'm a huge fan of the show it's on NBC if I didn't already say that now another show is how to get away with murder and I am completely hooked it's something that every episode it's I look forward to the most every week and it stars Paris Geller and Dean Thomas which if you don't catch those references we cannot be friends speaking of another fucked up thing that I'm obsessed with this month my favorite book and movie Gone Girl oh my gosh you guys it was so incredibly incredibly good I listened to it on audible.com if you guys haven't heard on the Bulls and Audio book website I talk about it every single month but if you already read Gone Girl or that doesn't seem to interest you you can check out anything especially if you use audible.com slash Megan you get a 30-day free trial so let's get back to Gone Girl it is so incredibly good basically what it's about is a man whose wife goes missing and he is suspected for the murder of it and how the book is written it's written in diary entries flashing back between now and then in the past so her diary entries his diary entries and it's all kind of intermixed the book was so good and I'm oh, I can't even get over it and then obviously my favorite movie of the month was also Gone Girl which had Ben Affleck in it you see all of Ben Affleck for like 0.2 seconds I'm like why isn't there a pause button at this movie theater hey no judgment and it also starred Rosamund Pike <laughs> actually guys a lot of you have been telling me that I look identical to her and more than that a couple of you have actually congratulated me on my success of my new movie Gone Girl so I'm here to tell you I am not Rosamund Pike I was not in the movie Gone Girl very cool if you think I look like her and even cooler if you thought it was me after watching the whole movie <laughs> I mean a couple of people were like, you were amazing and I was like you really watched a two and a half hour long movie looked at that girl and every moment you're like yep that's Megan Ranks no I have two playlists this month that I've been listening to music wise the first one is my October days playlist and the other one is my chin up playlist the chin up one is a little more upbeat and happy and the October days is a little more sad and mellow but it has a song that I'm obsessed with called salvation by Gabrielle Applin Applin Gabrielle Applin. The song was used in one of the recent episodes of The Vampire Diaries, which I'm also loving. And in case you guys did not know, Ben Howard came out with a new album this month, which is absolutely amazing. Have to listen to it. His voice is that of an angel. Ooh, I also like my new iPhone. If you want to see what's on my iPhone, I did a what's on my iPhone 6 video slash how I edit my Instagram pictures. Check it down below. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you guys. Oodles and oodles, and I will see you all next time.